kind of good friends. Yeah. Read the Bible together. Mm -hmm. That was very important. Yes. Should be, still should be. Yes, it should. Where are you from? Aiken, South Carolina. Aiken, South Carolina. Yes, sir. Came up nine-hour drive up here. Well, it's good. To, it's good to meet this guy. Is the reenactor for Stonewall Jackson here at Spotsylvania Courthouse this weekend, and we're just tremendously pleased. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. God bless you. Especially with all the young kids here today. This is this is where our new historians, the people who want to take this up as a hobby. You know, this is learning history firsthand here. Exactly. They can't read about this in a book. And so when you can come out and talk to people like General Lee and all his command, they can get a firsthand impression of what it was like. You know. Exactly. I gotta ask you, to the best of your knowledge, fact or myth? I say it's a myth. Where are you gonna find where are you gonna find a limit in the Shenandoah Valley <laughs> unless you raid a federal supply train. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Lemons, I mean uh, peaches, you got apples, uh, cherries, um, all sorts of fruit. And besides, Jackson had uh, irritated intestine, lower intestine. This is the last thing you want to eat with acidic. The city. Yeah, all the acidic acid. Well, you know, when we go to the grave, down mm -hmm. oh, yeah. General Paxton's buried there, you know, people tossing them things in yeah. there, and I'm thinking, that's a, you know, uh, the brother that was a uh, professor there at Virginia Tech uh, talked with a list, Rob Robinson. He said it was a myth, and I, in my opinion, his book on Stonewall is one of the best I've ever read. I love that man. God bless you. That's it. We'll talk Thank to you, you later. Thank you for coming out.